Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to do uh, question two. This is unit four, handout 4A. It's on page two and it's question two. And we're going to do this one together as well. So it's a little bit different. You'll notice that it, again, happens to be a delta delta transformer feeding this uh, Y load. But this time, instead of a, you know, a, you know, a random box here that shows, you know, a load, it's got an RL series circuit as the you know, three, three phase load. So I hope you guys can see it. I know it's small. Okay, guys, but hopefully you have your book in front of you. We're not going to worry about the load again. We're just going to take our voltage and move it across the circuit until we get, you know, E phase load. And uh, we're going to stop at E phase load. I want you to pause the video here, guys, and uh, come back, uh, you know, once you've calculated E phase load. Okay, guys, so go ahead and pause it. I'm going to work it out quietly. All right, guys. Okay, guys, um, hopefully you get E phase load that is equal to 110 point, you know, seven volts. Okay. And I worked it all out here carefully. All right. So that's exactly the same as every other question we've been doing three phase question we've been doing for a while. Okay. And, uh, we've worked it out now I phase load. Well, how am I going to calculate the current there? Well, in order to calculate the current, I have to simplify this circuit now. A little bit but it shows here that XL is 19 R is 15 XC is 5 and that'll be true for this rung and this rung as well and in order to calculate the current if I want to use Ohm's law which I'm going to use I need to draw you know a little phasor diagram for this to figure out what Z is right guys so I'm gonna do that right over here we're gonna you know it's nothing new this is remember when I told you that uh, if you're good at the single phase stuff you know the three phase stuff is going to be a lot easier because you don't have to worry about it right so r is equal to 15 ohms right xl 19 ohms right xc 5 ohms that means this business here is x it's 14 i do believe yeah ohms and here is going to be your z right and it should be 15 squared plus 14 squared square root. So I'm going to calculate that 15 squared plus 14 squared equals root equals 20. Okay, 20.52 ohms. And the reason we're going to calculate that, guys, is so I can calculate I phase load because I is going to be E over Z, right? And it's going to be that voltage right there. 110.7 divided by 20.52. All right, guys, see how easy this is? 110.7 divided by 20.52 equals 5.39, you know, five amps. Okay, guys, and that current would be if I clamped on right there 5.395 amps that's a nine all right guys so now we have that current we're going to bring our current back to you know the end okay and so I'm going to just do that carefully and quietly okay so
Okay, guys, so I took that cur current back through the system until I got to my primary line current, which is right there, okay? 1.798 amps. All right, guys. Whoop, excuse me for a second. Okay, we're at that point right there, guys, and now we are going to calculate the transformer KVA, and we are going to calculate it everywhere. This particular question, guys, happens to ask for the KVA of the whole system. And by the way, if it says KVA here, give me the VA or the KVA, I don't care, okay? I want to know the VA of the system, not necessarily the key KVA. So give it to me in VA or give it to me in KVA, I'll be fine with that, okay? So as usual, we're going to calculate it the same way, okay? So E-line, times I line, times root three, okay? VA of the secondary, it's going to be E line, times I line, times root three, okay? And the VA of the load, it's going to be E phase, times I phase, times three. Okay guys, and uh, sorry, that's off the page now. You know, my camera isn't made for this kind of uh, portrait landscape here, portrait uh, setup, so I apologize. Okay, I'm gonna add these up. Something's going on here already, or is it? No, nope. looks good. So far, so good. Okay, guys, and this is all working out perfectly. Okay, so uh, I am super happy with that uh, with that one right there. Okay, and you, like I said before, even if the question doesn't ask for the KVA, you better calculate it three times on every single question. All right, guys. Now, it's asking for the power factor. Well, I don't know. I don't have any power phasers, but I don't need power phasers, right? If I know the angle, I can calculate the power factor, and uh, or I don't even need the angle. The power factor is always the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So that power factor there, guys, it should be 15 over 20.52, right, guys? And uh, that'll always work. You can also calculate the angle and hit cos, right? Because the power factor is the cosine of the angle. So uh, 15 divided by 20.52. Looks like the power factor is 0.73. Okay, guys, for this particular guy. Phase angle, well, it looks like it's gonna ask for it. So I can hit shift cos, and uh, I'm, you know, I'm gonna do that, I think. Shift cos, looks like it's 43 degrees. Um, but I know opposite over adjacent, inverse tan, that'll work too, okay, whatever you want. Leading or lagging, hopefully I drew this guy correctly. There's the current, guys, and it is clockwise. So this guy is lagging, all right, guys? So. I don't know. Hope these are going okay. There is one more in this little handout here. And uh, if you want to see that one done, come to the Zoom meeting. All right, because I will do that one on Zoom if somebody wants me to. Since it doesn't come with answers, your homework, guys, is going to be Unit 4, Handout 4. All right. Yeah, Unit 4, Handout 4. Okay, guys, and uh, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.